Can anger be a good thing? Athletes have long used anger to enhance their performance on the field. There's a notorious story of a time Michael Jordan pretended someone provoked him just to get the anger stirred up inside him. And apparently after his team won over the Bulls, an opponent named LeBradford Smith gloated to Michael Jordan saying, nice game, Mike. Michael Jordan then became infuriated and decided he would destroy his opponent by scoring the same number of points his opponent scored the previous night, but doing it all in the first half of the next game. And he did. Jordan scored 36 points in the first half and 47 total for the game. Later, when reporters asked him if the story of Smith making a comment was true, Jordan replied, no, I made it up. So you can use anger as a fuel for determination. Gunpowder is actually a combination of charcoal powder and saltpeter. When you separate the two and only use charcoal powder, you're left with a nice slow burning fuel. Uh, People can use charcoal to heat their homes, grill their food. But when you combine charcoal powder with saltpeter, it becomes a destructive force. Boom. Then you have gunpowder. The reason is because saltpeter is an oxidizer. So when you light the charcoal powder, the oxidizer rushes oxygen to the flame at such a rate that it causes a combustion. Likewise, your anger can be a slow burning fuel. You can use it as determination to enact change. You can right wrongs or overturn injustices. Because these actions can require a lot of work over a prolonged period of time, you would need to channel your anger by reminding yourself of your worthy cause whenever you start to run out of momentum. That's how to use anger, like a slow-burning fuel. However, when you let anger control you, you let anger control the body, it's like letting the charcoal powder touch the saltpeter combustion. I'm reading from my book here if you're wondering.